In this week's Almond Matters segment, we're joined again by our friend Todd Berkdahl, Field Market Development Specialist with Valent USA. And now, Todd, we're heading into the middle of November here with um, Thanksgiving right around the corner. And uh, just want to check in and see uh, what growers will want to have uh, top of mind in, in terms of pest management heading into dormancy. Well, you're going to be looking at, uh, you know, uh, scale applications for, you know, putting out something for scale, a San Jose scale. At the same time, overwintering naval orange worm, page twig borer, those are problematic. And you can actually reduce populations pretty well with the uh, dormant applications. Typically, it's dormant oil uh, and uh, an insecticide or insecticides. With the demise of the organophosphates and the span. Asana is is a good alternative to that. It's a pyrethroid, but it's probably the uh, longest lasting of all the pyrethroids due to the formulation technology that's been in it for it's been around for a long time. And then uh, at the same time, uh, esteem, esteem is a uh, IGR uh, insect growth regulator, uh, very effective on scale. Um, basically, you can put it on any time of the year, but putting it on now when there's nothing to intercept the spray, you're going to maximize coverage. And it is a contact material, so by maximizing coverage without any uh, obstacles in the way, leaves and whatnot, you uh, you get really good control. In fact, I recommend that's the best time to put on a steam for scale is in the winter, starting winter. We've got some moisture now on the trees, so that's actually an advantage because uh, you don't want to spray them when they're dry. You want to spray them when they're hydrated and having the bark wet and trees wet and uh, some moisture out there. It helps with a lot of different things, but you'll get better coverage that way. Um, trees trees are already wet. You're not soaking up everything um, into the bark with the spray. It's uh, it's it's going on and, and getting to where you need it to be. So anyway, that's uh, that's it in a nutshell, Brian. I think the biggest key is, is getting good coverage and going slow and, uh, you know, basically if you put oil with it, recommend about a either a dormant oil or 15 oil. Getting that on uh, with the insecticides definitely en- enhances uh, coverage. And at the same time, you get uh, some insecticidal effects from the oil as well. It smothers, smothers overwintering uh, larva and also the scale. It helps there to uh, penetrate the scale's bodies. And now, alternatively, here, uh, just to highlight the, the value of getting a good management program going here to um, address overwintering pests, uh, what type of problems could growers be looking at if they're um, not able to get proactive here over the next few weeks? Well, uh, again, it goes back to the old adage announced that prevention is worth a pound of cure. And, um, you know, if there is scale out there, it can, you know, it's not going to do much in the winter time. But in the spring, you know, the females are going to lay, they've laid their eggs and they're going to have crawlers coming out. And so they can be exponential growth pretty rapidly. You can get limb dieback. You can get actually, you can get scaffold dieback if, if you let, leave it untouched, you know, don't, don't treat anything. That's the problem that some of these low uh, input folks have are having with products that are that are mild they don't really control the pest esteem has been around for a long time but it's really a good igr it's 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 selective it doesn't uh, affect uh, your beneficials and uh, your predatory insects and whatnot and it's very effective on scale it it stops the uh it mimics a juvenile hormone within the uh, scale so they don't they don't grow to the next stage and at the same time, the females are sterilized. The eggs they lay are sterile, and so it uh, it's just a it's a it's a good tool for for that. Asana is a broad spectrum insecticide, and putting on with oil is definitely an advantage to keeping pests that overwinter from repopulating and 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 coming on strong in the spring, especially lep pests like neighbor orange worm and peace twig borer. Those are probably the two main ones that we target with these winter applications. And then at the same time, there may be plant bugs that overwinter, leaf-footed plant bug, or there's stink bugs, or green plant bugs, whatever. There's several of those. Uh, again, with the, the demise of, of lorispan, 
uh, chlor chlorpyrifos and being taken out of the equation as far as use. The, the stink bugs and these plant bugs have been been come to become more of a problem in the last year, a couple of years. Uh, and I think that's just a direct relation to the fact that you're not putting out a broad spectrum, something that's going to kill them during the wintertime and knock out that overwintering population.